So here's the new exhaust that we have um, from Ground Force. And uh, we're gonna be installing that today. And let's take a look at a few, a few of the things we have to prep for before we get started with the new exhaust. So underneath the truck here, you're gonna see a few rusted on bolts that hold, that clamp the exhaust together. So you've got that, you see another one down here, and there is gonna be another one down by the turbo, um, which you have to unclamp as well. Uh, we're using a number 16 socket, and that'll basically be what you need to do to start off with removing the exhaust, and we'll go on to phase two. Scratch that, you're gonna need a saw. Right now, what you see is I have just cut off the exhaust that's on here. You want to disconnect all of these cables, which you're going to find along the side. Um, these are just sensors for the exhaust. Just disconnect them so that when you take the exhaust out, that these cables don't come with them and uh, wreck that. So there's cables here, and you can see the one loose down there. Basically go around, find the cables. They're pretty, pretty easy. There's just like a little snap on the one side. You just pull on that little tab, and it should just slide right out. It is pretty dirty, so it may stick, so just wiggle it around a little bit just so that you can um, slide that out. So for cuts, we did one at the end of the turbo down, uh, one before the cat, and one after the cat. Those are the three cuts that we made, which you will uh, be very thankful for, so when we remove the uh, exhaust, it'll be nice and easy. All right, guys, so now what you're seeing here is this is the down portion from the turbo, um, the exhaust. So what you want is you want an 11 mil socket, to loosen this clamp. Um, you're gonna keep this clamp for the reinstallation of the new exhaust, so don't throw that out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen this off, which you've seen I've already done, and it's gonna be really, really rusty and gross. So what you're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver to kind of wiggle that clamp loose and just shimmy it down off of um, the exhaust. So this is what it should look like now that I have taken the clamp off and loosen that to the point where now it has disconnected. Okay, so I've removed the exhaust, which you guys can see, and it turns out there were a few more cables than I expected. So there's one by the turbo back right here. There's another one right here, which is what I showed you, but there was another one that was tucked up inside. One here, one here, and one here on the exhaust side. Now, it was a very long and tedious process to eliminate this, but I'm sure with a lot, a lot of work, you guys can do it. Before you install the exhaust, you want to pre-fit uh, the, these little clamps that come with the exhaust. So you're going to find a bit of a fat end on the exhaust. You fit the fat end of the clamp on this side. They're loosely on here, so we can take them off as soon as we're ready to put the exhaust in. So then skinny side in there. And then you basically go through the rest of the exhaust and do the same thing. So fat side, skinny side, just put them on so that you have a good layout of exactly everything that's going to, how it's going to look like before you install the exhaust. All right, guys, after a long day, of installing this exhaust it is finally complete so let's take a look and of what we've finally finished okay so move this over here oh, okay so we've clamped down the turbo back exhaust piece We've clamped it here, all the way down. This rubber grommet will come off. We taped up all the electrical so that it stays clear of water. Then here, you can see the exhaust is there. Here, there are two more hangers um, that you guys can see that we've um, secured the exhaust to. And there's one more hanger up inside here. I don't know if you can see that. Right up inside there. And uh, we've got ourselves an exhaust system, so the next thing to do is just start it up and see what it sounds like.
thank you guys so much for watching the video that I did on the exhaust for my truck. I really, really appreciate all of your guys' support. You are the reason why I keep doing these videos. Please give it a like and a subscribe if you really enjoyed it to stay tuned for more videos, and we'll catch you next time.